Multiverse of Madness, the Doctor Strange movie. It came out this weekend. I don't think a lot of... We're going to do spoilers for it. So if you haven't seen it, spoiler warning up top right there. And not a lot of people saw this movie. It only made half a, a billion dollars opening weekend, which was... Actually, no, it made less than half a billion dollars opening weekend, which to me is one of the most pathetic performances the MCU has had to date. Yeah, failure. Uh, yeah, I blame the chemistry of Benedict Cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen and Benedict Wong and the cape is what I... Is what I blame the chemistry on. The Tide commercial did them no favors whatsoever. <laughs> four hundred and fifty. It was a. Is that the? I haven't seen the actual total. I think it was four hundred fifty million opening weekend, yeah, which right. is a, a worldwide, of course, which is the yeah. one hundred and eighty. I think domestically. What a stupid number. Uh, <laughs> it's just like like I remember when I was a kid, and like that's what movie. If a movie made seventy five million, it was a hit. Now four hundred fifty million, and it's like you know. It crazy 185 million in the US alone. In the US alone. Wow. It, right. Yeah. I believe so, that's isn't that what Morbius made total? Morbius made the opening night. Opening night. Morbius made the yeah. opening night. By the <laughs> way, mo hashtag moms for Morbius was <laughs> if no one saw that, that was the Mother's Day. The, on Mother's Day, for whatever reason, the Morbius team decided to announce that it's coming to digital May 27th. And they just <laughs> They decided to hashtag moms for Morbius with the scene with um, Matt Smith shirtless. It was the weirdest, <laughs> the weirdest. They're just going to try anything at this yeah, point. Just, Whatever like, sticks, sticks. It's, <laughs> a it's the movie that keeps on giving. It just yeah. doesn't give up. It's been, so we're going to do a watch party uh, May 27th. Uh, we're going to watch Morbius. Party I mean, of one. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Morbius. They're like, we're going to bring it out my, or May 27th, the same day as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Stranger Things. It's like you really don't want anyone to watch this movie ever. <laughs> so I hope uh, the Blu-ray has a four-hour featurette that's just about why the hell did we start calling this guy Milo? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know it's like my what was it? His name was Lu Lucian? Lucian? Lu Luxius. Luxius. Yeah, and then he's like, no, I'm just gonna call you Milo because everybody <laughs> that sleeps in that bed is Milo. Okay, what? okay, call me Milo. <laughs> yeah, all right, Milo. Good to see you. Oh, but anyway, enough about that. Let's go on to <laughs> Dr. Strange. Unbelievable. I am the one of the three people who have not seen this movie yet. I'm one of the three uh, who haven't had a chance. So, you guys are going to do a spoiler talk and just a little bit like full on spoiler discussion on Dr. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for a little bit. But before, let's talk about a few things. Let's start off with uh, so, spo again, spoilers. Mm -hmm. For Multiverse of Madness, and three to go away. Okay, spoilers. Here we go. So, um, as everybody knows, I think because I leaked before the movie came out, John Krasinski finally plays Mister Fantastic Reed, 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 Reed and Richards. Uh, probably, even though it did leak a week before, and I know you guys were able to avoid that leak, I think it's still the worst kept secret because we talked about it like six months ago, where he's going to be playing him, and there was all the rumors everywhere that it was mm -hmm. going to happen. Obviously, I don't know how it plays out in the movie, and I've—I mean, I know what happens to him in the movie because I saw it. Because YouTube is evil, but I don't really care either. But John Krasinski is also in the Jack Ryan show. My wife is a huge fan of that show. I saw season one; wasn't bad. Apparently, this—they're uh, wrapping up the series in season four, and I believe it starts filming towards the end of the year. And people are speculating now, like, okay, well, he's out of that. That is going to clear up his schedule for the next little while. Is there a possibility? Because we've kind of been told also that this is a one and done. Like he's coming in. This is just for this cameo in this movie, and he's moved on. However, now people are speculating. His calendar is opening up a bit. Is there going to be a chance of him returning to the part of Reed Richards? And after John Watts's exit, Andrew Fantasia, could he possibly even be directing the Fantastic Four in the Multiverse of Madness? <laughs> Yeah, it could go either way. You're right. I mean, that's what I kept trying to tell myself after the movie to temper my excitement. Howdy ho, Alex. Um, is that just because he's Reed Richards in this reality doesn't necessarily he's going to, it doesn't mean he's going to be Reed Richards in our reality. Uh, so I tried to hang on to that to kind of temper myself. But <laughs> coupled with the fact that we don't have John Watts anymore, we're short one director. He's also a pretty good director. So now we have another reason for him to stick around. And I mean, in all honesty, Marvel is good at knowing what the fans want. And I don't think fans wanted anybody more 
for this role than Krasinski. I'm sure other names have been tossed out, but he was like the like 90% majority. I, I didn't really care either way for Reed. I find Reed kind of a bland character. I was more interested in who's going to play the thing. Um, but because so many people wanted him to be Reed, I don't see them recasting because they know they'll get some sour looks if they do, especially from James. Bring in Rain Wilson as the Earth 616 version. <laughs> <laughs> Just mix it up. <laughs> uh, we got a comment on Alex. Going to get to it in a second. My, my, here's my thing on Krasinski as, a, as a Reed Richards. Everybody wanted it. <clears throat> well, most people wanted it. I and I've heard mixed things about his performance in the movie and whatever. That's besides the point. Doesn't matter. Now, I brought up a point to both of you, and neither one of you cared, and that's fine. But in that scene, the the actors that are playing the members of the Illuminati are all actors who have portrayed those characters in other uh, mediums, right? So you've had uh, what's her face is Carter. We've had uh, Black Bull. And of course, uh, Xavier. They've all been, I don't know, if it, or uh, Captain Marvel in it too. I don't know at all, whatever. Yeah, sort of. There's a tie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, but the thing is with Krasinski coming in, you have a role of somebody who's played the part in another universe. And it's kind of strange that they would all of a sudden be like, well, all these are actors that you recognize in these roles, but now this one that you have two other actors that we could easily call on. Why are you shaking your head? Because I didn't recognize one of them. <laughs> we'll get okay. to that. <laughs> I won't get one. You'll get to that. That's on you. But, if I, but the point is, like they, they use somebody that everybody was associated with the characters. And then with Reed Richards, they were like, no, we're going to fan cast that one. So my right. I, like that confuses me. And it's not a, that's not like, <clears throat> well, I can't believe they did that. It's more like, why did they do that? And for me, it would make sense if they're doing that, if they're going to go back to Krasinski for the role in future projects. Because... It's just weird. Like, like you're like all these universes have all these things, and this and the thing with Reed Richards is, and I don't know how it played out for you guys, but Reed Richards has never existed in the MCU, so it's not that exciting to see Reed Richards in this movie, except for the fact that you know the Fantastic Four from previous things, which would be a different actor in the role or a cartoon character. You know what I mean? So it's for me, it was like they're. I think they're playing the long game with Krasinski on this one. Well, to that point, though, are you expecting Patrick Stewart to reprise uh, Xavier when we eventually get an X Men movie? No, because he's playing X Men from the cartoon show. Oh. Yeah, but still, you're saying no, no, no. But the thing is, because they use the ones that we already know, now they can see the thing with Krasinski is they okay. Let's use Professor X for example. Then they've used they've now pleased you and they've brought Patrick Stewart back as Professor X. But now they can do an X Men movie and they can get whoever they want to play Professor X because they've already pleased you. And I think. The Krasinski thing's almost like that, but it makes less sense because he's never played that part before. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, it would make yeah. a little bit more sense if it was like they put Miles Teller in there for a kid, especially because Miles Teller, I could be wrong, but he seems like the kind of actor who thinks he's too good for Marvel movies. Oh, probably. Uh, so I feel like he would just be like, yeah, just give me a cameo and let me go back to my indie films. And th that's him tossing his cart. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's what Miles Teller sounds like. I could be wrong. Uh, but um, <laughs> you're right. That does make sense. And it doesn't match what they've done with the rest of the Illuminati to an extent. Um, but it it is a kind of cool way on the flip side of that coin to announce his casting in this way, instead of just, you know, some new story coming out on screen rant saying, good bird, it's him. Yeah, no, it's true. But also, would it not be better if he just played Reed Richards in our timeline oh yeah movie, i and right? I, I i see what you mean yeah um like would it have been better if he if reed richards was in the movie early on before the i mean i hear it goes before, but before the multiverse stuff he's like hey doctor it's me reed goodbye doctor just <laughs> <laughs> written just like that yeah wow just like that yeah yeah there was a little pre-tease to it though because before i this is spoiler talk but before they actually introduced the Illuminati, they said they're bringing them back to the Baxter building, which is the fantastic. So that right away, I was like, oh, here we go. We're getting right into it. Mm -hmm. It was a nice little tease. It was subtle, but I liked it. 